conjunction fallacy. Also known as, conjunction effect. Description, the assumption that more specific conditions are more probable than general ones. This fallacy usually stems from thinking the choices are alternatives, rather than members of the same set. The fallacy is further exacerbated by priming the audience with information leading them to choose the subset as the more probable option. Logical form X is a subset of Y. Therefore, X is more probable than Y. Example number 1 while jogging around the neighborhood, you are more likely to get bitten by someone's pet dog, than by any member of the canine species. Explanation, actually, that is not the case. Someone's pet dog, assuming a real dog and not some robot dog, would also be a member of the canine species. Therefore, the canine species includes wolves, coyotes, as well as your neighbor's Shizu, who is likely to bite you just because he's pissed for being so small. Example number two, Mr. Pip, is a sharp dresser, too good looking, works as an interior decorator and loves everything Barbara Streisand. Is Mr. Pip more likely to be a man or a gay man? Explanation it would be fallacious to say that Mr. Pip is more likely to be a gay man even if we found out that Mr. Pip worked nights as a dancer at a drag queen show. There is a 100% chance Mr. Pip is a man, and a smaller chance that he is a gay man because the group man includes all the members of the group gay man. Exception, when contradicting conditions are implied, but incorrectly stated. In the example above, the way the question reads, we now know that there is a 100% chance Mr. Pip is a man and a smaller chance that he is a gay man. However, if the questioner meant to imply, straight man or gay man as the choices, then it could be more of a poorly phrased question than a fallacy. If you like the video, then please subscribe to the channel. To help keep the channel alive, so that we can make more and improved videos. Thanks for watching.